kind of like the miscellaneous stuff that you'll pick up in the problem. So anything that we haven't picked up yet that uh, is is not in the selling is probably part of the uh, general and administrative expenses. And so we're going to have here, in this case, if we take a look at this, we have salaries of administrative salaries of 11000 So that's going to be in the, you know, the, the office, the accounting department being included in there. So we'll just have salaries for the uh, administrative salaries, 11000 It's a fixed cost. So we're just going to put 11000 all the way across for July, August, and September. And we could total that up for the quarter, summing the July, August, and September, and enter. All right, and then we also have this loan on the books as well. So we're going to group that into the selling and, uh, I mean, into the general administrative type expenses. So the loan is on the books at, we can see the 500000 long-term note. So we're going to put the long-term note in this section as well for our budgeting. And we can see that we have an interest on it. We're not going to put the loan. We're going to put the interest on the loan. And then so we have the long-term uh, monthly interest that we're going to pay. And we've, this problem has simplified it down. So we're going to take the monthly interest rate. Uh, if you see a problem that gives you the, you know, the yearly interest rate, then of course you would have to break it down to a monthly rate. So we're, we've already broken down the rate, meaning we took the yearly rate, basically divided by 12 and just given the monthly rate, which is uh, 1% here. So we're going to take the uh, interest on long term note which equals that 500,000 times 0.01. So remember that uh, obviously we moved the decimal over two places. 0.01 equals, and we can do that all the way across. We could copy it 500,000 times 0.01. It's going to be 5,000 again, equals the 500,000 times 0.01. And then we could, of course, sum that up equals the sum of 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, July, August, September gives us the 15. So we're just going to add those two up and that'll give us our total expenses here. So we're going to say this equals the 11 plus the 5 tab. August equals the 11 plus the 5 tab and September equals the 11 plus the 5 tab. We could sum this up two ways. We could say the total equals the total for the quarter plus the total for the quarter or we can check that number by highlighting these three. July, August, September gives us the 48,000 that is our total expenses. Okay, so now let's move on to calculating part of the cash budget. Now, when we start thinking about cash, we're going to have to break down the idea of when we make a sale, are we going to collect all the cash when we sell it? Or are we going to collect the cash afterwards at, at some point in the future? And in, in when, when we think about our cash flow budget, that's going to be important, obviously. So... That's what we're going to basically break down and we're going to use in uh, our, our cash flow budgeting as we go. So let's take a look at what basically our problem says here. It's saying that of our sales, we're going to sell 30% uh, for cash. So we're going to collect the cash at the point of sale in the same month. And then we're going to say that 70% uh, is going to be sold on credit. And we're going to say that the stuff that was sold on credit we are going to collect that cash uh, in the following month. So taking those into consideration, let's think about what the cash flow would be projected to look like. We're going to start with the total budgeted sales again. So we're going to say what was our sales for July, both cash and uh, on account. And we're going to get that from our sales budget. So in July, I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top again. Scroll all the way up to the top. And here's our sales budget for July. We're going to sell $494, four dollars, and that's what we're going to that's what we're going to collect. And well, that's how much we're selling in dollars units. But of course, we're not going to collect it all in dollars yet. And then in August, we're going to say this equals, and we're going to scroll all the way up to our sales budget again. And we're looking for August, August in dollars, four seventy four hundred tab. And September, we're going to say September, scrolling all the way up to our sales budget. We're going to sell four eighty two four. So again, we're measuring that in dollars, but we are have not yet collected all the money yet. Some of it was sold on account. Some of it was sold for cash. More specifically, we're going to have cash sales of 30% and sales on credit 70%. So let's just first break that out and see what that looks like. So we're going to say that, of course, in July, we had total sales uh, 494.4 times 0.3 or 30%. Enter. 
And then I'm going to say on credit 